As I've said, I've discovered uh, uh, that, that mostly here in New Mexico, this secret has been kept, uh, so well kept for so long. But now our friends are discovering who they really are. For example, the Martinez family that has good theology, or rather genealogies, and theology too. Uh, as far as the paternal and maternal families and how my wife's maternal side, Martinez, are from the northern New Mexico uh, area as well, and also crypto Jews. So in our impassioned research, we have gone all over the world, literally, okay? We have gone into Mexico, Spain, many times into, into uh, Israel, looking for facts as to who we really are. The point is that our people were so tormented by the tortures and the travesties uh, uh, against our people in Mexico, they fled across the Rio Grande into New Mexico and Texas and other parts of the Southwest. Helen and I are witnesses that we have been inside the concentration camp of sorts called San Juan de Ulua, the prison camp or the prison in Veracruz, Mexico. We've been in front of the very location where they would burn the victims at the stake in, uh, by the Mexican Inquisition in front of the Convento San Diego in the sector colonial or the colonial section of Mexico City. We have seen, discovered, we've discovered objects with uh, such as mezuzas and uh, Hebrew symbols and paintings and, and uh, gravestones with Hebrew symbols here in, in the state of New Mexico. We've analyzed up to close to 17,000 surnames, apellidos, that are of our kind of surname, that is like Martinez, Sanchez, Escobedo, and so forth. We've compared DNA results, test results, and we've discovered that many of our people have a similar DNA haplotypes or haplogroups that are similar to other uh, Sephardic Jews in other nations. But we've also discovered that many of our people, or rather not many in terms of how many in volume, but that they exist, that there are common diseases such as, for example, the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 breast and ovarian cancer that is found predominantly among Jewish women. And we've found that here in northern New Mexico and in southern Colorado, this is very prevalent. So this concerns us, but it's another proof that we have and we are of these kind of uh, vestiges of Sephardic Jews or Ashkenazic Jews. So needless to say, I believe that now what God is doing uh, in the country, in the nation of Israel, he's arising, he's raising up the leaders. In fact, Helen and I, my wife and I, were in a famous lawyer's office in downtown Jerusalem. He's the chairman of a board of a major uh, uh, Anusim department of Netanya Academic College in Israel. And in the middle of us three talking around his conference table in his office, he suddenly stood up. And I thought, well, I guess he's dismissing us. This is the end of our conversation. And he says, welcome home, my brother, welcome home, my sister. You cannot imagine how loudly this resonates in my ears, in my heart to this very day. Folks, I wish I could go on with this story, but I will tell you that God cares. And my desire for you is that one day you too will come into the liberation and the freedom of your identity and your destiny just as I did, and I wish the best for you and your wholeness be yours and your family. Hasta luego. Shalom. Leitraor.